Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. It's 12, 6, 19. I want to talk about these two back-to-back -back shootings on military bases. In case you haven't heard of them, this is pretty big news. So the first, <clears throat> the first shooting was at Pearl Harbor. Uh... I spent some time at Pearl Harbor. I was there for a while. I think anyone stationed in San Diego in the Navy is going to spend some time at Pearl Harbor. I know I did a couple times. It's a beautiful base. It has a memorial for the actual Pearl Harbor attack and floating memorials and everything. So, so this guy was on the I think uh, was on <clears throat> a, a submarine. It says right here, the suspect, they've released, uh, sorry, it's CNN, BARF, I just, uh, it's the only place I could find it. So he, the, this shooter was Gabriel Romero, 22 years old. Is that the 22? The 22? And, uh, he killed, uh, he killed two civilian workers and injured another before killing himself. And the third one has died, so three are dead, and plus him. And he served on the USS Columbia attack submarine. So on this base in Pearl Harbor, just days before the anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack, someone named Gabriel Romero from the USS Columbia attack submarine opened fire on people on his base. And if this wasn't bad enough, it's happened again this morning. This time in Pensacola, Florida. And what's interesting about this, so this active shooter was reported around 7 a.m. Central Time. This person, it's come out now that the shooter in this was a Saudi Arabian. So four dead just after, just one or two days after the Pearl Harbor shooting by a Navy sailor. There's been a second one in Pensacola, Florida at the NAS's Naval Air Station in Florida. And he was a Saudi. So they're getting ready to have a press conference on this. The active shooter at NAS Pensacola was an aviation student from Saudi Arabia. So, so what I'm getting is that there's more attacks planned like this um, as, as we approach the holiday here in uh, in December. There's more attacks like this planned, and it's this seems to be a pattern. So, we should be in prayer over this. Now, what's interesting, and maybe someone can help me on this, is I had been warning about this naval air station and Cape Canaveral in Florida. And how it somehow tied into New York. Does everybody remember these series of videos? Because I can't find them. Uh, it was it was that Pad B location on the video where I drew the red triangle. Please, someone bear witness to this. I drew the red triangle. It was between the uh, the World Cells Tower in New York from the Donald Trump, and it went down to the Mexican consulate. And then it uh, went over to the United Nations building. And it was a triangle. And in there was this place called Pad B. And I was trying to explain how not only was it a warning for New York, uh, but it was also a warning for Florida. And I tied the two together via Cape Canaveral. And then I found this naval air station right here you're seeing on your screen. And was warning about it. And I was showing how I found some object by Google Earthing up above it. Does anybody remember any of those videos? Because for some reason, I can't find them with keywords like Florida or Naval Air Station. But they're on my channel. And I believe this is a big warning sign uh, for the world of terrorism rising. So I wanted to get this out. I'm getting ready to live stream some encouragement. I just wanted to share the news. There's some other news. I feel worth mentioning too. Let's just go over it. 
so this is breaking right now. He was in the USA for flight school. That's interesting. Sounds of 9-11. There's this other story down here. Let me find it. Let me pause and find it. So now this second story, although I don't believe in aliens, I do believe in fallen angels and demons. <clears throat> and uh, there's, there's this string of stories that have been coming out for weeks now of things, objects being spotted in the sky. Uh, and I think they're getting, I think that they're preparing uh, the fake rapture. I really do. All of a sudden, all of a sudden out of nowhere. So this article is today and it's out of Texas. Texas becomes unidentified flying object hotspot with hundreds of sightings, including snake-like objects. <clears throat> like this. But what's interesting is I don't know if you follow the news as close as I do, but these things are showing up everywhere over multiple states all of a sudden at once. Are they preparing for the fake rapture? So so that's the news I wanted to get out today. There's so much more. And this video is not made for children. <clears throat> Excuse me, I want to say that. And I'm gonna be keeping an eye on and warning and making these videos as uh as long as God allows it. God bless you. Stay vigilant. Stay alert. Look up.